All right. This is the zookeeper. And we are looking at a green mamba. This is Mrs. Green. The female green mamba. There's a little hide right there in that corner right there. And Mr. Green is inside there. And I'm going to put a few, a couple of uh, small rats in there. Because they got to eat. Let me see if I can zoom in and show you a, show you a little close up of Mrs. Green. Now Mrs. Green Mrs. Green, if I can get her on the film there without shaking it all up, there she is. She has no problem hanging out with me. She is not shy. She just sits right there. She's not running away. I mean, I have to get pretty drastic to make her run away. Mr. Green, on the other hand, he, he is definitely shy. Look at that beautiful snake. And he's a brighter green than her, believe it or not. He's beautiful. They're both absolutely gorgeous. But we're looking at Mrs. Green, and she's going to be probably the one that eats first. And I'm hoping that we'll get him to do it too. So I'm going to try to get full pan there because they're so fast that when I put this rat in here who knows which direction they're gonna run to lock these things and I'm gonna put this rat way over here to the left and see if she's big enough to eat it because that's a small rat really one of my smaller ones and I think she can do it Let's see if she's gonna do it. I'm gonna try to keep my eye on the camera so that I can follow the action. As you can see that she is heading that way. And that rat just went back there in the back corner. Hopefully he'll come back up front. He's kind of coming back up here there a little bit. But you can see she is stalking him. And usually the venom from these green mambas, they can put down a rat pretty quick. So we're going to see what happens when she does that. And I'm going to try to get this on camera without disturbing them too bad. I'm gonna have to, and plus it's gonna be shaky when I lift this thing up. It's no longer gonna be a nice, even shot. And she's about half looking at me and half looking at the prey. She's a lot of movement out here. But like I say, she's so much more brave than Mr. Green is. So I'm gonna try to get this up here where I can. Well, we can see, get a better shot of what's going on back there. All right, here we go. Y'all ready? Woo! Man, I'm surprised it didn't happen. It might be too big. Nope. And he's over here in this corner. And you can see how fast that venom is acting on him. And I think he's already done. Wow, that had that happened really fast. That venom don't waste time. Here, let me see if I can get this thing set up sturdy again. Get through this clutter I got out here. And we're gonna watch her go over there and eat the thing. Wow, that happened fast. 
coming over the top of that hide. She knows where he's at. Wow, that happened fast. Talk about fast acting venom. And as you can see, poking his head out through that hide door, that is Mr. Green. And I'm hoping this rat will go his direction. And let's see if we can get him to come out and get him one too. There's the new rat. I'm going to have to be real still because Mr. Green is very shy and thankfully the rat is going the right direction which is so unusual usually it's always the opposite but it ain't there he is poking his head out now I'm going to be really still I'm going to see what he thinks about that but that rat decided he wants to be really still too And I'm hoping that Mr. Green will get the new rat and Mrs. Green will mind her own business and go get her own little rat that she done killed. Oh, there's, there was a strike. I don't think he got him good though. He just scared the little rat. He don't act like he's, oh, well maybe. He might have got a piece of him. But you can see if they, if they strike him really well and invenomate him really well, it doesn't take long but if they don't get them just right oh there's another bite and I don't think that rat's gonna last much longer either he didn't quite get him as well as Mrs. Green did but you can tell it's already taken oh no he went in the back well anyway you see both of these guys they're both interested in what's going on we'll see who gets what I wish that rat hadn't jumped all the way to the back there and behind all the stuff but maybe we'll get the shot of this at least Mrs. Green or somebody either one of them you can see they're both interested they're both hungry We'll see who gets this front one. That'll be the one we get to watch eat. Beautiful snakes. See how green he is? He's got like a more vivid green than she does. It's hard to tell here. He must be getting in shed. They're both going to go back there in the back. Looking for that fresh that rat. And here she is coming through. Ain't that cool? Oh, I'm not sure if that's even showing up. That barrier right in the middle is blocking the view of her coming through there. There she comes. Now she's going to come over here. And... Oh. I thought she was going to come to the front and find this rat. And we're going to say something about Mr. Green. And I'm going to move this up here. Hopefully this movement won't freak him out. But there is Mr. Green. Already starting on his little rat that he got. I don't want to freak him out by doing this. There he is. Well, that's going to be quite a meal for that little guy. They got such a high metabolism that they have to eat this. I could do this twice a week and they'd be able to digest every bit of it real quick. But I only feed them once a week. But you can see it's a pretty good sized meal. And hopefully he'll be able to get it down without Mrs. Green interfering. 
That looks like that might be what's trying to happen. Uh, at this point, it looks like Mr. Green's got the head start. And it's hard for me to look in there and see what's going on and keep an eye on this camera at the same time. But I'm going to try to see if we can get a better shot at this. They're going to drag it up behind there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this camera off and do it by hand so maybe we can get a better shot. Let me get around here. Hard for me to see. You can tell she's still got a little bit of shed stuck. Little tiny pieces. She had a nice clean shed, but she's got a little scrap on her head there. The rest of her body looks good. Looks good. I'll have to give them a little soak. Make sure they get all that off of them. There's Mr. Green eating his rat. And Mrs. Green it's just about to find hers which will be a lot more able for us to see and this camera does not have the anti-shake mechanism in it to keep it from wiggling around just because I do well that wasn't very nice Mrs. Green see what we can do about getting Better shot. There we are. That is a mouthful. Amazing that they're going to be able to. There's Wilbur, little rooster. It's amazing that they're able to fit that big old thing down inside of them. But that's a big rat for that for these snakes right now. These are kind of still young. They're probably maybe a year old. So they got a lot of growing yet to do. When I first got them, they were. A lot skinnier than they are now. That's not focusing very well, is it? There we go.
might get back here. You see some shed that's left over in there. I need to do some cleaning. And there's Mr. Green back there working on his. See if we can zoom in on that a little bit. See what he's doing. Wow, he's already got his down. Look at that. All that's left is tail. Wow, he put that away quick. What a pretty boy. Wow. Green Mambas are from Africa. This is an Eastern, from East Africa. Eastern Green Mambas. They used to be grouped in, all the Mambas used to be just one. They were called the Black Mamba and Greens and all of them used to be just one family, but they split them up over the years. Now you got like four of them. You have the Black Mamba, the Eastern Green Mamba, the Western Green Mamba, and the Jameson's Mamba. And they all have slightly different things. They're still all Mambas, but they have very small differences here and there. The, the Black Mamba is the least arboreal. The Black Mamba's more likely to spend a lot more time on the ground, where these others, the other three, they are more arboreal means they prefer it in the trees. So I thought I put a lot of branches and trees and those kinds of things in here. It's not as tall as I would like it but it's at the top of a stack of cages so they're at the very top so at least they got height in that kind of way. Wow, that's amazing. That was a big rat for her. And here he comes. Let me back pan out because he's coming around the top there. You can see him. He's already finished with his. But he's looking over here saying, What are you doing? More than likely he'll go straight back to his hide. He likes it in there. She's in there sometimes. She spends some time in there with She's more apt to be out and about more than he is. Not very good light from this this direction. You can see them face to face now. Mr. and Mrs. Green. Original names, I know. How creative can you get, right?
and as you can see when they open their mouths you can see their fangs the mambas are fixed fangs so their fangs don't fold up in their mouth like vipers and that means that their fangs are going to be shorter look at that and that beautiful I'm going to come back around here and hopefully not scare them off and we can get better lighting and a better shot at these beautiful snakes my camera will focus right it will be in good shape yeah the lights way better from this direction in it yeah beautiful all right love y'all bye